In this video, we're going to look at a couple examples of finding a formula for a rational function given a graph. So, there's a few things we want to attend to. First off, I notice that it looks like I have a couple of vertical asymptotes at about 3 and negative 1. So that's going to tell me what the denominator is going to look like. So the denominator of my rational function will have an x plus 1, which will give the vertical asymptote at negative 1, and an x minus 3, which will give the vertical asymptote at 3. Now, some things to look at. Notice that over the vertical asymptote, the graph switches sign. It goes from positive to negative, positive to negative. The reason we want to attend to that is sometimes we might have one of our factors in the denominator repeated you'll notice it if it switches sign if it does not switch signs and we'll look at an example like that after this one these switch signs so they'll definitely have an odd multiplicity so we'll start with a mul multiplicity of one and we can check at the end if we need to change it next thing we look for are any zeros we have a zero right here so we have a factor of x plus sorry x minus one because it's about at one in the numerator now once again we'll check multiplicity notice it goes through the x-axis so it has an odd multiplicity so we'll always start with one and we can work up when we go to check the graph next thing we want to check is for a horizontal asymptote we clearly have one at zero so we want the degree of the denominator to be larger than the numerator which is what we have so far so so far everything is looking really good lastly we want to see if there's another point not on the x-axis that we can identify we have a y-intercept here of roughly 0 negative 1 <coughs> that's going to help us find any factor we'll call it a that might be out in front because we know that when x is 0 the y value has to be 1 so let's solve for that. So we're going to set y to negative 1 and all our x's to 0. So a times 0 minus 1 is a negative 1. Over 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 minus 3 is a negative 3. So we get negative 1 equals a negative 1 third, negative 1 over negative 3, or a times 1 third. Multiplying both sides by 3, we get a equals negative 3. We plug that back in and we've got our function. So y equals negative 3 times x minus 1 over x plus 1 times x minus 3. And now we can verify this with our graphing calculator. I'm going to do another example in, in another video where we have one that we see some even multiplicities.